Welcome to the official iNavX support video channel uh, by Jim Sales. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up and use the waterway guide in iNavX. The process is the same for the iPhone and for the iPad. First, in iNavX, we need to make sure that we have already purchased the waterway guide. You can find that by tapping charts, tapping on the My Charts tab, scrolling down to the bottom to the waterway guide to see if you have purchased it. If you have not purchased the waterway guide, you can tap on the store item, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six versions of the waterway guide depending on which region you need. In my case, I'm going to tap the waterway guide under my charts and I'm going to refresh the charts list just to make sure I get brand new updated information from the waterway guide. I'm going to tap yes and let it update. It shouldn't take but just a minute. There it is. It's done. Now we can go back to go back and then go to the chart that we want to view the waterway guide on. I'm going to use an area near me. Once you're in chart view, tap the gear icon in the upper right hand corner for chart settings. Scroll down to points of interest and tap setup. Tap waterway guide for the region that you purchased. Then in the upper left hand corner go back to your chart. Tap done. Now we have new icons visible on the screen. The anchors indicate anchorages. The Sailboat icons indicate marinas, the bridge icons indicate bridges. You can tap on one of the icons and it will give you some more information about the particular item. Uh, in anchorages it will give you uh, a little bit of information about the anchorage. For marinas it will give you a good bit of uh, information about the marina including a phone number uh, that you can call them. Hey, if you found this helpful, why don't you click on the thumbs up to give me a like. And while you're at it, subscribe to your official iNavX support channel by Jim Sales.